There's a saying that Chicago has only two seasons, winter and construction season. Both of these seasons can cause major traffic delays, leading to frustration and stress, especially when trying to get to or from O'Hare Airport. But you know, there is a way to get to O'Hare that's generally immune from delays, no matter the season. You know where I'm going with this. It's the CTA Blue Line. In this video, I'll explain why and how you want to take the train to or from Chicago's biggest airport. All aboard, doors closing. I covered taking the CTA Orange Line to Midway a few months ago, and now it's time to talk about Midway's bigger, younger cousin, O'Hare. Once the busiest airport in the country, and still the third busiest, O'Hare is about twice as far from downtown. Does it still make sense to take public transportation? I've got my opinion. Let me lay out the facts, and you can decide for yourself. The Blue Line to O'Hare is a pretty straight shot, as you can see. This route was extended at the airport in 1984, but parts of this line are much older, so you'll enjoy underground, elevated, and at-grade sections on your ride. A little something for everyone. With 16 stations between the loop and the airport, it's not the fastest line in the CTA system, but it consistently averages 40 to 45 minutes. And it drops you off right at the entrance to Terminal 2, with indoor walkways to Terminals 1 and 3. In ideal conditions, you might do better in a car, but then you have the downside of renting, or parking, navigating, or paying for someone else to drive you often a lot of extra hassle or cost for a couple minutes. In winter conditions, or in construction season, or at rush hour, you'll want to rip your hair out on the Kennedy. Does this look fun to you? How about this? That's a lot of traffic. As with Midway, the key here is consistency. Just grab your seat on the train and know there's really not anything that will slow you down. A few other factors for you to consider. First, when leaving O'Hare, the train costs $5. That's double the cost of taking a train there, or any other ride on the CTA system, including the Orange Line for Midway. If you're traveling with family, or a group of more than a couple people, the cost savings will shrink a bit, departing O'Hare. So, if your sole ambition is saving money, it could be worthwhile to at least check the Uber or Lyft rates when you're ready to go. Another consideration. Getting to the International Terminal, Terminal 5, requires a separate tram ride. No, that sounds too negative. Let's say it involves a separate tram adventure. If you're flying out of Terminal 5, the tram takes a few extra minutes and tilts the scales in favor of taking a cab or rideshare to the airport, particularly if you're tight on time. If you're flying into Terminal 5, the rideshare options pick up back at Terminal 2, though, so you're going to take a tram anyway. And once you're back at Terminal 2, the Blue Line station is going to be right there, beckoning you to hop aboard. One last consideration. Maybe this is the most important one. Obviously, the blue line is going to work best if your starting point or destination is in the loop, or near one of the stations on Chicago's northwest side. If you're coming from or going to the suburbs, the blue line is sadly of little use. If you're on the north or west sides of the city, but not near the blue line, then connecting with other trains in the loop is one option, or a bus and train combo gives you a bit of that trains, planes, and automobiles fun. That fun, of course, comes at the cost of time so it can often be a good economical middle ground to catch a cab or Uber to the nearest Blue Line station. Taking a shared bike to a station can also work, if your luggage is minimal. No matter how you get to the Blue Line, the beauty is that once you're on the train, you can just sit back and relax until you hear, this is O'Hare, as far as this train goes. If you've never taken the Blue Line for work or leisure travel, or if it's been a while, I hope you'll give it a try next time. You might really enjoy counting cars on the Kennedy as you pass by. And remember that the blue line will work especially well when construction projects or winter weather make the roads less convenient. I really can't overstate the winter benefits. Okay, that's all for this episode. Please consider subscribing or leave a comment if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Point to Point.